Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we got a pretty big one. We are going to be tackling the question of can you save the Savannah on Halo Reach? The Savannah is actually the UNSC Savannah, which is the frigate here that uh, covers you and escorts you during the mission uh, Long Night of Solace, um, which is the space battle mission on Halo Reach. And that is this frigate right here. And unfortunately, that frigate. Um, gets blown up at um, a later point in the mission after the third rally point. Uh, just to recap for you guys as always, um, I'm going to show you guys how it blows up again if you guys uh, haven't played Halo Reach before or have, don't remember what happened on this mission. But basically during this part of the mission as you uh, enter this room, the uh, Captain of Savannah says they're taking like heavy fire and they need to break off and so they start to do that but they don't do it fast enough and shortly after this moment here, the uh, Savannah is really in trouble and it uh, takes too much fire and they take too much damage and the Savannah just uh, explodes at this point. So, starts off with this engine and then everything just goes boom on the Savannah and ultimately it's completely blown up. And there's not really anything you could do to save it. Um, or so we thought. So. Can you save the Savannah? Well, that's actually a yes and no kind of question, uh, answer in this case. Um, the answer is sort of, and I will show you why in a bit. But to save the Savannah, the easiest way we're going to do it is we need to use mods. Uh, so I recently got a new mod tool from uh, a friend of mine. This mod tool actually lets me uh, switch to no clip in real time. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to like modify the game save or anything. Uh, but anyway, so with the no clip mod, we're just going to simply clip outside of the map here and we're going to go around the, uh, the usual path. And the reason why we want to do this, and this doesn't necessarily mean you can't do it without mods, um, but the reason why is because over here, like right down there, there's actually like a loading point here, a, a trigger point actually, that once you hit it, that's, uh, that triggers the uh, Savannah getting destroyed. But if you can skip it, then, like we're doing right now, then the Savannah will be saved. So it's not impossible without mods, but it's just very tricky to get around that trigger point. Um, I actually don't know of any way around it without mods, but uh, theoretically it should be possible. Now, even though you skip that trigger point, you, uh, you still haven't fully saved the Savannah just yet. You need to actually hurry up a little bit. Because even if you skip the trigger point, after a while, the Savannah will still uh, blow up. And I'll show you that a little bit more in a bit. But we've, uh, we've killed our enemies here. We've activated the, uh, the switch to start uh, the refueling run. So right now you have two options. Um, if you manage to get here and skip the trigger point by glitching, and most likely you have to go back the regular way on foot through the path you went through and that's okay you can take this path back uh, and everything will be fine uh, however there's one catch and I will show you in just a second here so once we come over here we look outside the Savannah is still here it's still alive it's just you know it's perfectly fine um, but there's another trigger point here that we just hit that despawns the Savannah well not entirely despawns it it uh... I don't know, it's still kind of there and it's still not there at the same time. Uh, sometimes these cannons will still shoot at it even though it's like invisible. Um, but it's still alive technically. But if you want to keep it alive a little longer, then we'll have to clip back outside again, which I will show you this as well. So once we're outside, you can see the savannah is still here. We're going to skip that trigger point that despawns the savannah. And. As you can see, it's all fine and dandy, and it's still doing everything it's doing. It's still firing at the Covenant Corvette. And the Corvette's also firing at the Savannah, but it does not get blown up. So, the reason why, um, why the trigger point despawns the Savannah, I'm not sure. Um, but now that we've skipped it, we can come over here, and then we can go back the regular way, skipping that trigger point. So up until this point, the Savannah is still there, it's still fine. It's still doing its thing. So you have officially saved the Savannah if you do it this way. Either way, um, 
skipping the first trigger point is probably easier than skipping the second one, um, the one on the way back. But like I said, I don't know of a way to skip the first trigger point yet. Um, but theoretically, it should be possible to do this without mods. It should be very possible to skip that trigger point without mods. But just for the sake of ease and um, just to see the results, we did skip the trigger point using uh, no clip. Now, as you can see over here, this fan is no longer there anymore. That's because we hit a loading point that despawns it again. So, and there's no way to skip that, because if you skip that loading point, then this section of the mission won't load. So you do have to hit that loading point. But the Svanna is still actually there. If you take too long to kill the enemies here, that dialogue where the captain says the Svanna needs to break off will still happen. And after shortly after that, if you still take too long, then the dialogue for the Savannah blowing up will still happen. So you want to make sure that at this part, if you do get to this, you cannot take too long. You have to uh, still hurry up and clear out all the enemies and load the uh, final cutscene. I have done that, and uh, we're gonna look around really quick just so you guys can um, see. But uh, right about here, uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but um, that dialogue where the captain says the Savannah's in trouble and it's a break off just happened. So I am now running out of time, so I need to quickly uh, load the cutscene. So there we have it. Uh, once the cutscene is loaded, then you're fine, the Savannah won't blow up anymore, even with the dialogue portion only. So at this point, you have saved the Savannah. So it's a little bit of a stretch, I know, because uh, we do have to mod to uh, get outside the map and skip the trigger point. But I don't think the trigger is like impossible to skip. It is possible, theoretically. But at the very least, we know it's possible to save the Savannah. Because, you know, there's a lot of things in Halo. I know a lot of people are always asking me to save uh, other things. Not everything is savable, even with mods. Uh, I can tell you that right now. I know people ask me to just, like, mod certain things. Uh, I can't just mod something to be um, savable, especially if it's, like, heavily scripted or during, like, a cutscene. Those aren't entirely um, possible to save. Uh, but anyways, the last thing is that uh, if, if you've successfully saved the Savannah, like I said, it's, it's deloaded. Um, so it doesn't show up in the cutscene either, but in our hearts, we know we saved it. And as far as the game's dialogue goes, we also saved it. Uh, because if we didn't save it in time, even though it was deloaded, the dialogue still happens if we take too long to try to save it. Uh, but anyways, uh, so there you have it, folks. Savannah saved. Uh, somewhat, at least. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting, uh, as always, make sure to uh, leave a like. And um, just anything else you want to check out or look into, uh, you know, now that I have this new mod tool, I can do a lot more exploring or a lot of other experiments. If you have any ideas you want me to check out, just let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.